Here we go. I don't think they show Moses here. Or is that him? I think that is him, actually. That that guy with the mid part? No, oh, that's Moses. That's Moses Braun? No, he's only, Mo <laughs> he's only Moses Braun in the manga. Oh, do they cut Braun from the show? Yeah. Actually, no, in the manga, they call him Braun. Oh, right. I sure hope any of this means anything. <laughs> Definitely deserve changing that. Yeah, right. Oh, it's the mounted art wall artillery. <laughs> I thought I thought these guys were so fucking cheesy when I first watched. <laughs> oh my god, it's Pastor Nick. <laughs> Anytime we get to a scene where there's just like the original TV version has horrible mistakes, I'll point it out. Yeah, because we we have the Blu-ray here. Yeah. Yeah, in not in this scene. There's a lot of. I think there's like two scenes with Hanes in the mm. original where he just has the wrong uniform on. <laughs> What's this guy's name? <laughs> That's Hugo. That's Hugo. Fuck off. Fun fact. In the manga, his status is unknown. <laughs> they added his death to the anime. <laughs> when does he die? <laughs> in the next episode, Reiner kills him. <gasps> he's, he's his status unknown in the manga. That's so funny. <laughs> Hugo was playable in the, the mobile gacha game AOT Tactics, he which, was? which I also made an archive for, by the way, if you want to check that out. Like, some other people helped me, and we archived all of AOT Tactics before it got shut down. I always wonder what happened to these guys. Like, how do they have these small injuries? Yeah, how did they all get, like, minimal injury? Did they did they all, like, crash land? Oh, it's Moses. I hope he... he, he... <laughs> Calmly delivers the news of her son's death without yeah, traumatizing her for, distressing. for absolutely no reason. Surely he can just say, sorry, your son is dead. But <laughs> this is so goofy. Oh, there's future Aaron right behind him. Oh, yeah, there's future Aaron. There's future Zeke right behind him. Do you think she's, like, happier for having her son's disembodied No, arm? she's definitely not. I always like how this guy's animated in this shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, like, didn't finish animating him. <laughs> he looked like a Roblox character. Oh baby! Oh, we can't read these. Oh well. Oh, they don't. Tra they translate the opening, but not this. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing really to say about those. It's just a giant. These field. measurements are really spot on. Oh yeah, yeah. The <laughs> we'll talk about that later in season two. The measurements they give don't make any sense. So he he really just is going into this city for Doctor Lee. Yeah. No. He he uh, absolutely is not doing anything bad. Coincidentally, while he's away, then everything happens. This scene is epic because this is literally the where this do you is. work out the library meme. No, it it literally is. He he owns them here. The animation here is really cool. They like show a lot of detail. Yeah, yeah, they shot. Some, yeah, I do. I like how they set up the government here though. Mm -hmm. And the, they actually cut some stuff out from that because really. Yeah, in the manga, he's like, um, he said, oh yeah, he like insults the king, and Armin's like, you can't do that. King Fritz, the the sleepy old dotard. Yeah. Ooh, and I, I really like, it. they keep his hand mark there, like, consistently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the King of the Titans. Oh, it's the, uh, <laughs> what what do they call him? Uh, the the AO Aoten? The Colossal Aoten. No, because he's, he's just one, so he's an Aoten. Oh, right. What? No, they, I don't what, think they, they, call, they call him, him Colossal. the Colossus, right? Yeah, they, I think they call him the Colossus Aoten. And the Aotena we, need, we need to explain Aotena onslaught. At oh, some that's point. a story for another day. I like how they don't show a Titan up close until uh, mm -hmm. the shot that's coming up with Han. Han is. I sure hope there's no YouTube uh, recommended videos that spoil literally everything to know about that <laughs> Titan within like one sentence. What did you get it spoiled? No, I didn't. But uh -huh. you know the video. Which one? There's like that video in the recommendations that's like. Aaron sees Titan that ate his mom was his father's first oh, wife right. while looking at basement memories. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, he, he crammed as many spoilers as, into one sentence <laughs> as possible. Also, I like how she looks away, but he he keeps looking. That is a good characterization. How much blood does she have? <laughs> Gulp. Gulp. <laughs> Rubs big Titan belly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, the weird thing is this episode did not have an ED originally but they added it in the Blu-ray. Oh, really? Yeah, it used to have the credits over that sequence, but they, they don't do that for any of the other episodes that have credits over the ending. Moses' mother. <laughs> yeah, they cut his last name as Braun. I guess they didn't want to confuse people. Mm -hmm. Or, like, raise the, like conspiracy theories about it. This ending is really good, actually. It is good. I don't even... I don't think it's, like, in my top half of the favorite 
No, not endings, mine either. But it's really good still. That shot is a little funny. The shot of Aaron walking towards the camera. Yeah. Okay. So Episode one. That's that's definitely us here. Yeah. I mean that's that's like as good as it gets. It well got people hooked back in, in Actually, what, no, it's, it's not even like one of the well, it is one of the best episodes, but there's mm-hmm. episodes that are better. Which is I think it's like one of the best first episodes ever made. Yeah, de- absolutely. I mean, like it hooks almost everyone. It's what made this such a cultural force back then, and it, I mean, it's it's the rest of the twists that have made it stick around. How old were you when you first saw this one? I was fourteen, and I said, "Wow, that was really good." And then I watched like ten episodes that night. I started season one like it, it got really popular because it because and also because it was on Netflix back then, and that was that was all the rage. And, yeah. Um, oh, they still have an added season. Yeah, they still have. Netflix. They still have. The AOT situation on Netflix has not changed in the in the past decade. Yeah, um, I, how many people do you think watch season one and then they're like, "Oh, that was a good show," and then yeah. they like never realize that there's more. <laughs> it's probably a lot there's, of people. It probably is a substantial amount, right? The no, the best part about this episode is it's like a different episode rewatching it because everything's recontextualized. Yeah, and I think season two even more so, or in, not season two, episode two is what I meant to say. Oh yeah, episode two because because yeah, you get the whole. Like Reiner monologue while he's running at the. Well, yeah. we'll talk about that when we well, get yeah, there. Too too bad they cut some of that. <sighs> That's like the one thing that they substantially <laughs> oh, neutered. Well. Okay. Well, one of the three. Yeah, S tier. Yep. Oh, what do you want to do? You skip the openings, or are we watching them? <sighs> we don't do that here. Okay. We love the Attack on Titan production committee. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they always give their animators enough time to create a they product. Do. A 16 episode season is totally normal. Oh, I love this guy. This stupid little hat. Is he is he actually like he's, quoting some like medieval or not medieval? He is. Like, he is he's quoting something. I don't remember what it is, but he's not yeah. in the manga. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cruel. Why does he have like filed teeth? Yeah, no, do you it's, think that, it's always weird. Do you think could, that Eldian restorationist had like filed teeth? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he threw him far. Oh my god, he did. Yeah, season one is very melodramatic. It really is. This I'm, I'm, I mean, it's really good, though. Like, it is. It is don't good. Don't get the wrong idea. This is still, like, amazing. Is that his, is that his little grandfather? Yeah. Grandpa Arlert. Grandpa Arlert. Oh, okay, this sequence is so good. It is. Oh, no, the the this... demise of Hugo. Oh, that is Hugo. Oh, look, there's CGI titans there. Oh. Really hard to notice. It is a fucking miracle that Hana survives this. He's standing right in the no, blast it is. path of... I think he he's, like, above the gate, though. I don't know exactly how that's set up. Is he? Oh, this is so cool. He really does even, like, look insecure there. Of course, at this point, he was still meant to be uh, Thomas Wagner. Oh my god, he was, wasn't he? How does that work? Did he... Uh, he he wrote Thomas Wagner, or he, he drew them. That's why they look similar. Mm-hmm. And then later he decided, I guess, Reiner would be more interesting to be the Armored Titan. Well, how how much later? I, it must have been soon. Yeah. Because Thomas have been, dies soon. Yeah, it couldn't have been very long. No. I there he is. Oh, Hugo. No. Okay, we're about to see one of the, the Armored Titans classic uh, signature attacks coming <laughs> armor titans <laughs> is fire, fire breathing. breathing trust district yeah it, it is weird this guy looks a lot like uh like reeves yeah but no these guys never come back i don't think they were in the manga oh the classic shot where she pulls his ear and it makes her own ear grow Yo, what if it ended and they beat all the Titans and then Aaron goes, I said I'd kill all of them, and then he kills himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, this it. shot, this is really interesting. So Grisha, mm-hmm. I, I think he's coming back from the... From the cave, yeah. From the cave. So he already killed them. Or was he going there? I'm not sure. No, because after he killed them, he got all disheveled and screamed in a field for a few minutes. But the interesting thing is, he knows Aaron's alive because he just saw Aaron in the future. Mm-hmm. So, this must be before. It must be he must be going towards the cave. Mm-hmm. That makes more sense cuz he, he's like preparing for what he has to do. And he's also so disheveled and like distraught looking after which yeah. doesn't line up with that. After the scene they'll show he wakes up in the like shelter, but mm-hmm. that's not what happened in the manga. No. In the manga it's like in the barracks of the training grounds. 
Mm. And he's like, I thought I just had this dream about my dad. So it's really weird. They so like, is it like in a different order? Like they not like, here? No, they like fixed it because this is where he wakes up. Like they show this yeah. later in mm. uh, Bystander. So the anime version is correct. It's crazy. Grisha's dead from this moment on. That's so weird. Now there's any. Yep. How did Armin secure that bread? I, I thought it was. I, oh, he, yeah. It's his grandpa's oh. rations. Shout out Grandpa Arlert. Well, he won't be alive much longer. I think he dies in the next scene. <laughs> he he dies in the in the great oh, uh, God, farming. Don't, don't even get me started on that. <gasps> no. Oh, not Grandpa. What is he going to do out there against those titans? <laughs> yeah, why would they send the elderly man out? <laughs> okay. Um that one for that that one's also really really good. That's also really good. I'd I uh, I'd go A tier. Definitely A tier. It mm-hmm. has it has some S tier scenes. But yeah, I think it's definitely not as good as. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but that is a that's a is classic. Really good, yeah. That's a that's an A tier. It uh, that that armored sequence is of course a standout. Um, and and setting up like the foreshadowing with the with the, the warrior Grisha? kids. Oh yeah, 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 yeah Grisha, Grisha too. Grisha. That that episode sets up like everything. Uh huh. It really does. Yeah, I agree. A tier. Oh, he's oh, Armin Arlelt in this one. <laughs> I like how he turns him. This guy has an interesting character design. A lot of them do. Uh, he did really has, doesn't have to go out to Mina Carolina that hard. Yeah. These guys have already been traumatized. Mm-hmm. I like the implication that um that curly haired guy in the middle went through the hell as well. <laughs> yeah. What did he see? <laughs> no, Reiner's face here is so funny. I love him. <laughs> Season one, Reiner can like never looks good. It looks like he has like a, a f- <laughs> facial growth. Actually, it matches his season four look. Remember? Oh, Where true. It, like, yeah, it does look out. exactly like that. <laughs> Ymir's design is also really weird. Yeah. Oh my god, what was that? What was what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's his face. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk about this when it when we actually get to it because oh. it'll ruin the mood. But season three during the Irwin suicide charge, there's one guy who has a really big mouth. <laughs> Back when it came out, everyone talked about how he looked like a My Hero Academia <laughs> character. Ymir doesn't look good here. Yeah, no, she got completely redesigned for season two. I love him. Me too. It's Marco Bot of Jinai. It's weird. This was written when Marco was already dead. I like the other translation better where he says the king doesn't want your body. <laughs> like, I, w- I always thought it was like a funny joke, but I guess it wasn't intentional. Oh my god, I forgot. We were watching this on Hulu last year. It felt like a fan translation. When she's like, are you asking me why people eat potatoes? The, the translation is like, are you positing why humanity eats potatoes? It's like, <laughs> what? Shut up. No one talks like this. They're supposed to be like twelve here, which is just insane. Oh god, they are, aren't they? In the manga, they have like, like in between designs. Mm-hmm. In the anime, they just use their trost designs. That's weird. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I was watching with someone who just didn't understand the joke here. I've, I've, <laughs> what is it? What is the joke? <laughs> you don't get it either. No, he's just saying uh, well, that he wipes his hopes and dreams on yeah. Kami's back. I, I get it, but I feel like it's like awkward. It, it, it is awkward because they rearranged this. It's me- this this was written to be like the what what's the word like levity after uh, mm-hmm. Trost. It's like a little comedic arc to kind of yeah cool down. But uh, they rearranged it to be before Trost, so it's chronological. But the tone has issues. Like Sasha turning into a Dude, monster. I here. I was I was genuinely put off by that when I first watched. It. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Nothing like this ever happens again. Mm-hmm. I feel like we need to cut half our complaining. <laughs> People are going to think that we just fucking hate this show. <laughs> the only reason I'm complaining about this is because I've seen this like literally 10 uh-huh. times. Yeah, I think this is uh, probably, I think I've seen this show seven times. Uh, I like how that parallels the Zeke later. That what? Later on, uh, Magath says, uh, what are you doing, Jaeger? Oh, like, right. Like, oh, God, that's cool. Yeah. I like how Daz looks like yeah. middle aged at age well, thirteen. Daz looks like old kid from Invader Zim. It is interesting that it like literally does pan to the steam there. Yeah, it's like a half joke. You're just coping because you didn't put it in your foreshadowing video. I intentionally didn't put it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it counts. It's it's more as, meant as a joke. It's supposed to be comedic. Cope, cope, Vaders. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Team Four Star? Uh, uh, is that Gilbert. where he's like Armin? No, he says. I'll just foretell you what I foretold him. The, just that one line, it's like I'm always pretty- stuck with me. <laughs> First hometown reference. Credit to them for like setting up this uh, Aaron Reiner thing here. Yeah, they really do well. Right, this is definitely the best scene of the episode. Oh, 
without a doubt. Right, just like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shadis is cool, too. He really wants Aaron to fail, but then he... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he gives so, up. He's so pathetic that he can't make mm -hmm. Aaron fail and gives up. I love him, though. Yeah, he, he is pretty pathetic, isn't he? Yeah, like, at what, what point here did he decide? He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> he broke it himself, and he created, like, yeah. hundreds of hours of work. Oh, God, he yeah, he probably... That's, that is true. I didn't even think Every about it. Every single belt that comes through now has to be added. <laughs> it has to be inspected. You pass muster. <laughs> Molly Codling. Dude, the translator for this, like... Yeah, a minute was like no. It it's those Funimation 2013 subs. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. She's kind of yeah. presuming a lot here. Yeah, she is. I really like this. Mm -hmm. It's setting up that he knows Grisha. And they don't pay that off for like 50, yeah, they really don't. Fifty episodes. Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't notice that unless you're rewatching. So it's not a bad episode, but it really kills the pacing because we have to basically oh, yeah. hit the brakes to mm -hmm. to go on a little. Uh, backstory introduction episode in the manga it goes straight from them joining the army we get a time skip to the night of the graduation and then after trost it goes back to show the whole training montage but by moving it back they add like 30 45 minutes of stuff that was not intended to be there <laughs> no yeah yeah no i get it it uh it really does like destroy the momentum from episodes one and, and two the other problem is that um it, it like makes Trost feel like a it, it's yeah it makes Trost feel super long. Mm -hmm. The other problem is that it tells you who's gonna survive because in the manga it was retroactively going and introducing these characters who we know survived Trost. Mm -hmm. In the manga, it's telling you uh, in the anime they're showing you who's important and especially uh, in the next episode they put a ton of focus on Annie. Wait, yeah. why, we'll talk about that after the next one. Which which yeah that and that that is meant to set up for female Titan. And also, I would say that Reiner and Bertolt scene there was meant to set up for their arc being right after hers. Yeah. So. I, I feel like what they should have done I think is... it was a mistake to move those. It was it was a mistake. But if they wanted to do this, they could have kept the introduction uh, with the potato scene and then just condense the rest and then go back and show the rest later, maybe after Tross. I don't know. It's hard to know. What, I, do, what do you think? C or D? I, it's... I, it's okay. better than like the really slow episodes. I it, prefer yeah. it to like the it's, really it's slow. A C. Episodes, but it, yeah. It's a C tier. I don't think there's gonna be anything in F. No, there's not. There's not. I agree. That's a C tier. Yeah, because yeah, I mean that that episode is not boring. It's no, like... and it has a lot of classic moments mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think the first really bad episode is ten or eleven. You'd call it bad. No, oh not. wait, that's the one where they just talked to Kit's Warman for ten minutes. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Episode ten, they talked to Kit's Warman. Uh, and there's some good stuff with Pixis, but it's so slow. It's like right at the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th okay. This scene is clearly meant to be setting up. Uh, yeah. Reiner no, it, and Annie. It completely is. And by the time you get to those reveals, it, you forget you don't about remember this. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. This is like setting up their fight. And mm -hmm. so in the manga, the female Titan shows up right after they show this flashback, and it's like really obviously her mm -hmm. i i did not remember who <laughs> no i, I mean, didn't I, either i was 14 but i didn't remember who annie was by the time the female titan stuff happened no she gets shot to death i think this is also the first warrior soldier mention oh yeah which they actually funimation somehow knew to differentiate them mm -hmm. uh, i don't think crunchyroll did and i think the manga definitely didn't at this point I, I like this development for Aaron where he's mm -hmm. like, not this time, but I don't know. It, it seems like the kind of thing that should have stayed after Trost. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Even though this happens before Trost, it's like it, it it's another side of him that we didn't we don't really see until yeah, no, later. Narratively, it, it should go there. <laughs> How did Marco get number seven? He's good. <laughs> <laughs> that Reiner, <laughs> Reiner pose. <laughs> Half this video is just gonna be us making fun of Reiner. <laughs> it's really weird. The season one recap movie like makes it manga accurate, mm -hmm. but that movie's also bad. Oh yeah, it plays like that clown music. <laughs> they play clown music. <laughs> so bad. It really is goofy. What are they thinking with that? 
Oh, it's this scene. This scene looks awful in the TV release. Oh, yeah? After this, he does, like, a Naruto runaway. <laughs> like, with no no ending to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he got so excited, he ran all the way to the top of the wall. <laughs> this is one of the best scenes. Dude, this is me looking at my bank account since the last Steam sale. Oh, it's so good. I like how it's just out of nowhere. I like that Bertolt was completely resigned to killing Aaron here. Yeah. He had, like, no problem with it. It does make this a little more impactful to have the the gap between um Yeah. No, it it does. That four. that is one of the good things. Mm -hmm. uh, that 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 is a plus side of rearranging to be sure. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? So, it's definitely better than the last one. I don't know if it's a full tier above. Um it it the yeah. ending ending scene ending scene, ending scene is, so is amazing. I I'd, I'd say keep it in C though. I don't maybe move it up to B later. I, I think it's a B because it also sets up a lot like the Reiner stuff and the Annie stuff like it it's substantial I think it's more substantial than the last one that's that's fair and I I think it's just better like it has an exciting ending yeah might as well we can move it down later if we or we can make another we might make another tier later and, and kind of put it in yeah. between yeah throw it around see what we do yeah no I, I I would agree I think just in general that one is better than three has less of the quirky goofy. yeah okay yeah B tier. God, I wish the Colossal looked like this later. That's so good. Yeah. And there's like, they really it did a good job really good. of making him feel like he had weight behind him. Mm -hmm. They just, should have just not panned down here. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, this is like one of the only plot holes where mm -hmm. his, his bones evaporate. I think there's not even a single citizen that dies in this. In like it's all, Yeah, it's only soldiers. Really? They, they got, yeah, they got everyone out at the start. Is that, what's her name? Uh, Yeah, that's uh, Anka Reinberger. Reinberger. She saves Erwin's life later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Pixis took the wine bottle. I always thought in this scene he was like stealing plates and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like here. <laughs> this guy definitely got put in the ship machine. <laughs> Absolutely. No. Lord Wald. What it was the other translation they called him? Uh, It was like weirdly different. Oh like, yeah, it was like Bort. Or oh something. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Like Bart. I, remember, I just remember that Anka Reinberger somehow dies. Oh, yeah, but we never we see never her die. We never see her die. And the only time she could have died was from drinking the Titan wine. And they make a point of showing that she didn't. His eyes are so intense. They did that well. I think that's Isayama's strongest suit as an artist. Is he, he draws faces and expressions really Oh, well. yeah. Even in the early chapters, he mm -hmm. did really good expressions. Yeah. Okay, I really like how he headbutts her here. And then later on, she'll dodge the second headbutt. Oh, does this episode have the... This does have the Netflix banner, doesn't it? Oh, show yeah. banner for Netflix. Yeah, Netflix has the worst banner for this show. It's just this a single horrible frame of, frame of him running. That is cool that he, like, genuinely would have died here. <laughs> yeah. We would have had the Santa guy be our main. This whole sequence is just insane. They just get absolutely destroyed immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah, Who's that like, feller behind him? That's Nak TS. That's Nak TS. <laughs> How could I forget him? There it is. Oh yeah. I was in the middle this, of like... this was this moment where he just gets eaten <laughs> in mm -hmm. midair. Yes. So insane. So, yeah. Fourteen year old me was like actually in disbelief at that. <laughs> Were you? I was like, Oh, he'll be okay, he'll get like a robot no. leg now. <laughs> like his Armin actually thinks that Aaron just died basically. Yeah. Yeah, God. Aw. No. Poor Mina. Mina. The world's most important book. This is where everything went wrong. I really like, like, because he was technically would have died here, but he's able to, like, do this last superhuman act. What? Like, people, they always talk about people who have, like, oh, yeah, yeah, super like, strength when they're, like, about to yeah, die. Yeah, with, like, adrenaline flowing through him. I guess that is kind of him holding the jaw up in there. Yeah. She sends the disturbance in the, in the air and <laughs> forest there. I think this is one of the best episodes. What Are do you, you going to put it in S? I th I think it's S. I think it's it's such a like a hook. Well, every time I show someone the show, I always try to make them get to episode five. You made me get watching. to episode four when I first watched. <sighs> episode four is also a good hook, but I think I think episode five is better because that entire last sequence is just like perfect. I think. Yeah, it uh, is a good one. I I I would not like go a, for S. It's here. like a low S. It's it's better than better than episode two. I don't even know if I'd go that far. Really? But, well, I I like it a lot, but I like two a lot too. I really like I, episode I, two. You're you're um, right. It's it's not as good. It's like a high A. Yeah, I think I'd put it in there. 
I I agree. Just because mm-hmm. we have to be selective with our S's. Yeah, we I do. Think. And and we can we'll probably re rank this at the end. I think realistically. Yeah. But I, I would call that an A tier. It is a very good episode though. Yeah, you're you're right. Yeah. It's it's almost S. Mm-hmm. When I was in um, fourth or fifth grade. Yeah. My friend got a uh, like a little model toucan. I think it was uh, like fired rubber. Yeah. He's like, look, I got a rubber toucan. And uh, I thought, oh, rubber's bouncy. So I dropped it on the ground, and then it just shattered. <laughs> and he started crying and went home. Oh, they destroyed the book. <gasps> no. Wait, that's the book. Oh, <laughs> wait, it's a different group of bullies. <laughs> Armin, Armin was like the town weakling. Every every group of uh, of young ruffians had some, some qualms with his intelligence. I didn't realize until... It was like the fifth time watching that his he doesn't have legs. I mean, yeah, they don't really show it very well in the aired version, right? No, they show it in the recap movie. It's really oh, weird. Right. They reanimated it to show his missing legs. Oh, now we have the best character in this show. They made him so comically evil here. Yeah, I was gonna say this. It it, it is kind of like weirdly out of character. I don't know who he meant by Yeah, her I was gonna employer. ask if there was like a specific yeah, he really mellowed out. This experience humbled him, and it uh, it made him a better merchant. I sure hope we get to see a lot of him in season three. Oh yeah, I hope they don't give some of his lines to Mika so for no reason. There's a lot of focus on like blade usage and gas usage in this arc, I and they'll never again. Yeah, I mean, I'm they, glad that would suck. Yeah, they 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 get used to it by after this arc for some reason. Oh, they're made of ultra hard steel, which is. Cultivated from a special type of bamboo. Oh, right. Yeah, they changed this from the tattoo. Why? But didn't they put the tattoo back in anyway? Yeah, they did. They retconned it. Why were they visiting? Oh, because uh, her mom's pregnant. Oh, really? I know they talk about it in Lost Girls. Mm-hmm. These kidnappers were playable in the gotcha game. They were really powerful. They're pl- Are you serious? No. This is so psychotic. When I first watched it, I was like, <laughs> I thought it was, like, so unrealistic that he does this. And then later it's like, oh, yeah, that was the point. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's supposed to be freakish. Yeah, it really, really is psycho. God, it, it's crazy how the, on first watch this is like, yes, Aaron, go. Your scarf was blue there. You see that? Okay. Um, uh, I really like that one. That is a that is a very good episode. Mm-hmm. Um, a. Yeah, I, I agree. A. It's it's, it's, not, it's above B. Yeah, it's, it's not S. S. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as this one though. Um, hmm. this is the problem we're gonna run into. Yeah, because it, it might be B. We'll we'll have to see, but it's also better than four. It yeah, it's it's better than four. It's not as good as as five, but I'm saying I don't think we have enough tears. So um, so, S, this would definitely go to S plus. Okay. Do we agree two and five will go to S? I put two. You don't, don't think five? five? Um, y- uh, sure. Yeah, we can move them back. I, I think, I just think it's better than six. Yeah, and that's then fine with me. The, I I think we agree for the other three, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. This let's add an E to 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 really buffer. <laughs> it makes no, it look we're never gonna use E. Uh, how about this? We'll we'll add it if we feel like something needs to be there. I don't think we'll ever use it. Well, just wait till we watch distress. I always thought it was really convenient how they all ran out of gas at the same time. Yeah, it is really funny. And then it never is a problem for the rest of the series. <laughs> <laughs> Marco thinks he's on the team. I was about to say it. <laughs> Bro thinks he's on the team. If only he'd saved Armin's arm to or Aaron's arm to present to her. It's so funny that he lists all the casualties and then he saves Aaron for the grand finale. Yeah. Like the river. <laughs> stringing her along for dramatic effect. That sound effect is so funny to me. Yeah. Tom! No, Tom! Tom is also playable. Are you fucking kidding me? What is that? I always wondered that. And they show the pomegranate in a Oh, minute yeah. Too. I can't wait. I, ho- I hope we get to see a pomegranate this, this here pretty soon. This sequence right here, this animation sequence, was the first thing I ever saw from the series. That little jump. Why? Because uh, one of my friends had it. It was like on their profile. 
His profile on what? On this old website we were on. Is it Warrior Cat Forum? Yeah, it was. <laughs> the pomegranate? <laughs> God, what was the point of it? Oh, this is the oh. first look at uh, paths, I guess. Yeah, paths. I like that Um, for a moment here before realizing that it was Aaron and that he's a fucking moron. Reiner and Bertolt Nanny probably thought for a second that they'd been successful in drawing out the founder. And well, then... they they didn't know what to think because like, mm -hmm. there were only two titans unaccounted for, so they would have known it was either the founder and the attack titan, but they would probably assume it was the founder. Yeah, because the attack is like, they probably would think it was yeah. a Marley or something. It really That's... was just a coincidence that Aaron was here. That he was in, in the same class as all the other warriors. Yeah. That is like the most contrived. No, it, it um, is really funny. Every single warrior, the queen, <laughs> an Ackerman, and uh, uh, four, oh, the five, Titan. five titans mm -hmm. all in the same class. The first time I watched this, mm -hmm. I didn't realize the implication was that Armin wanted to keep the one blade uh, to... To kill himself? Yeah. Did oh. You, did you realize that? I thought he was just like going to fight one off with the... No. And I, I thought Mikasa was just being, like, mean. Yeah, I thought, mean. I, yeah, like, I thought so, too, until like, literally just now. I've seen this, like, yeah, seven no. times. God, that episode's really good. Yeah, it is really good. That's, like, an A. The whole sequence with the Titan is, like, one of the best parts of the show. Or, like, one of, it's a top-tier scene. Mm -hmm. I, I'd put this in A. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I think um pretty much every viewer on their first time sees that Titan and goes, What? Oh, Aaron? Yeah. I feel like, so, and they have no reason to believe that, but it, it somehow he just has that energy. Yeah, he, he does. And energy. also it, it's like, uh, it's like the first like hopeful moment of the show. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Okay. I don't your... think we really see any. Yeah. Like see any what? We, it, but they really are like on the defensive until that moment. Yeah. This makes me like feel the urge to to watch this with someone who hasn't seen it like for the first time. Yeah. But I know like almost no one. I don't know anyone else either. Yeah, that I can put through the ringer. <laughs> we need to find need... people just to show them this. Yeah, I need to like like care about people so I can make them watch AOT. Because I I have the urge. I was like I need to see someone's first time reaction to this. Yeah, please get more friends. You know, I feel like on rewatch, it's supposed to it, it like feels like they're all like Amish people here. They have none of the like they have none of the world's technologies, oh, yeah. and they're all like, "Oh, we're doing so well," and and they have no. It literally like, is. They're... It is, but <laughs> for some reason, I I never like fully feel it because I, like, it's like yeah. the first time all over again every time for me. Have you seen M Night Shyamalan's The Village? <laughs> I can't say I have. It has a similar premise. Oh, I don't. It doesn't matter if I spell an M Night Shyamalan movie. Well, anyways, in that movie, there's a group of people. And they live in a village. Mm hmm And they think they're, like, the only people left in the world. Gotcha. But they actually just have, like, a government contract to where no planes can fly around. And, like, outside the, the world is, like, normal. Oh. Uh. The village just tricked all the people into thinking they were, like, living in the 1800s. Oh. That's kind of funny. It's that's, like, like a good bit. No, it's, like, weirdly similar to this. It's like a good bit for the village to do that. I don't think that I don't think that'd make a very good, good drama. Bit. I feel like it'd be funny though. <laughs> that movie's not very good. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm shocked there's a bad Shyamalan movie. These episodes have better pacing than I remembered. Yeah, they they actually do. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like it's jargon. Oh, there's his dictating membranes. Oh, I'd love to see his dictating membrane. He's like a cat. I also really like how his his own hands get destroyed because he's punching so hard. Mm-hmm. Especially in the in the Annie fight later, he like blows his wrists off from oh. slamming the ground. That's funny. Yeah, even in their plan, it doesn't really make sense for a, a Titan to appear here. Maybe they thought that the founder was just like in trust for whatever reason. Yeah. Like the secret king. I think they were just confused. Oh, this, this is the shot that gave me the inspiration for my old thumbnails. Oh, yeah? Like you see, what I feel like doesn't get enough credit for like not redoing this arc. Oh this yeah, this show like, could have just been this repeated yeah, over and over. Trust is like what people think of when they think of AOT, mm -hmm. but it's like no no other arc is like this at all. Not even slightly. Reiner Bertold Danny showing up here is what led Erwin to figure out who the traitor was later. What do you mean? He he knew that the armor titan had to be someone who saw Aaron come out of the. Oh, the that titan. they were here. Yeah. Well, he didn't know exactly which members were, but doing this kind of gave them away is my point. I guess I guess the fact that Aaron was a Titan was no that was revealed to all the troops. 
Uh, no, but the, the, fact, oh, the that fact that the armor, that the armor didn't, show didn't show up mm -hmm. means at this moment they changed their plans. What's the chance that they could have just, like, taken Aaron the second he escaped and all transformed and, like, it made it out? They probably had would have had a pretty good chance, but I think the issue was they didn't know if he was the founder. Mm -hmm. And if he ended up not being, they'd be screwed because then everyone would know that they were traitors. Yeah, but they got the attack titan back to Marley in that case. Yeah, but they needed the founder, not the attack titan. Right. Maybe Levi was, like, about to show up from whatever direction they would have run with Aaron, right? Because isn't he coming from outside the wall in a minute here? Well, Levi's coming back from... Uh, South, yeah, in between Trost and Shiganshina. So, there's a good chance on their way out that he might have, like, ambushed them. Yeah. I don't know what he would have been able to do. I don't know if he would have known to do anything. I mean, it would just be, like, confusing. <laughs> like, these yeah. people are just leaving the walls. <laughs> like, these what? Well, you would have seen that. I would have oh, assumed yeah. they'd leave in their yeah, Titan Yeah, they'd be forms. in Titan form. I guess yeah. they'd probably... Or at least one of them would be. They'd probably ride on Annie. So they yeah. do in the manga. They cut Well, they out. switch off between Renner and yeah. Annie. But then again, Bertolt always has the nuclear option. I'd go like B. Yeah, I think it's a solid B. Yeah. It has good moments, though, with Aaron finding the Titans. I think the, uh, the elevator thing in Truss is like the most iconic thing in the Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, and it's like uh, it's like the closest the show gets to horror. Mm -hmm. Except maybe well, some of season two. Well, probably not the closest. I think there's quite a few. Like what? Like horror? Just yeah. horror as a, as, a genre, as a broad genre? No, I mean, like, it, it's really like the suspense. only time where they're like normal people they had to fight them without their anime equipment you know mm -hmm. but yeah no I, it's like a high b mm. what do you agree yeah yeah i, I agree that was <laughs> my that was my non-committal agreement okay. sound. <laughs> he looks so ugly there his early design is so different who I, is I, this guy was he in I don't, I don't think he has a name i was gonna say i like the detail of how he they establish that he's like a germaphobe, mm -hmm. but then he doesn't care about grabbing the guy's bloody yeah. hand. Yeah, that is that is like a good character moment. But then it's oh, oh Levi loves being clean so much. He looks so relieved. <laughs> I wish we'd seen more stuff like this. Mm -hmm. See, and I feel like at first you're gonna be like, oh, Aaron got eaten by a titan, and then he became a titan. So that must be how you do it. <laughs> but then this is like, no. No, I think that's what I thought too. I think a lot of viewers think that on the first time. Because it's like the last thing you see Aaron do before he becomes a titan. So You can see Armin in that shot. They really made this feel like demonic. Mm -hmm. It really does. It's creep. It's like Evo 01. This, this old guy was about to be the, the only other guy to hit the lottery with Emir. <laughs> Early on, there's a lot of this like stuff where they're calling Aaron a monster. And he's like, am I actually a monster? And he's, yeah. like, thinking about it, and they just don't really follow up on that. Yeah, who gives a shit? <laughs> What's his name? Ian Dietrich. No hesitation whatsoever. This is their first real indication the key's gonna be this recurring thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're not really thinking about the basement at this point. That's what I was thinking yeah, about. Yeah, this is the introduction of the basement, pretty much. Mm-hmm. There's, like, so many questions raised by this. Every th every single thing about this, the injection. And your first assumption is that he turned Aaron into a titan here, but, I mean, it's true. Yeah. That just is what happened, but it almost feels too obvious at first. Like, when you, when you get used to the show, like, subverting you, and, but, but it is a simple solution. And the way that he, like, accesses Frida's memories here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, the, of course, the, the Kruger callback later. Yeah. There's so much in this scene. This partial transformation is something he literally never does again. Well, I think it was because he was so exhausted. Yeah. I mean, it. no, he does it. Well, it's only in the manga. <laughs> oh. And at beginning of season three? Yeah, in his Titan tests, mm -hmm. uh, every subsequent transformation is like a smaller Titan. Oh. Uh, I love this episode. I think. I'm not that big on it. The Levi scene is amazing. It's good. Uh, I would not put it higher than B max. No, come on. No, it, it's I'm, a clear A. I'm not gonna the scene, this. The scene where uh, he comes out of the Titan stomach, it's like one of the best season one. And then it's good, the but ending sequence. I, everything with Kit's Warman is just it's well, uh, it's episode hate, ten poisoning it. Yeah, it is, I episode still, ten is poisoning it. It like makes my eyes go <laughs> over. I can't go above B. The the whole sequence with the basement, it's like such a good setup for it. It is, but I still can't I, I can't go above B for this one. I, okay, this is the first one we disagree on. I wonder, yeah. what should we do then? What do you think? I well, guess where would you put it, S? I would put, no, I put it A. Oh. 
well. I I think it's as good as it it has it has so much. It has Levi. It has first transformation. It has Grisha. It has basement introduction. It's just like it's so many good moments. Episode four and eight have like one good moment each. Like it's that's not true. Eight than was that. a better episode than that was. Okay, I I, I guess I guess you're right. The overall episode isn't that strong. It just has. It, good it, that's the thing. Is it's structurally weird, but it is. Yeah. It has like really good moments. I think it might be ten. Fucking poisoning me too, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it and be. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can. If you if you want to barter with me later, I mean, we can think about it. But yeah, we'll we'll keep it in B <laughs> for now. I think it's at least a high B. Mm-hmm. Dude, N sixty four games are so expensive. Are they? Sixty dollars for a game in the nineties. It's like a yeah. hundred dollars today. This is one of Daz's last moments before season four. <laughs> it it is his last besides the season two one, right? No, no, he does have one more where he. I think he threatens to. Uh, Desert. Oh right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's pretty soon too. It's this episode or next? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's next. I think next. Yeah, this episode yeah. does Jesus not make Christ. that far. In the anime, like r slash anime threads from 2013, people were like, "Does anyone feel like the pacing's kind of dragging now?" Like nothing happened in this episode. I I really like how Reiner's really concerned that mm-hmm. like the founder just died. Well, there's a good chance it gets born in Marley, I guess, but... Yeah, but good luck finding that. Yeah. Well, I feel like, wouldn't the baby, like, accidentally transform or some shit? I don't think so, because Aaron never accidentally transformed. Are they breaking orders by, like... Oh, yeah. ...watching this? Yeah, they definitely should not be doing that. Yeah. It's a really good body horror, him, like, stuck against the bone there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do wish in later seasons they kept animating the titans like stuck to their faces Mm -hmm. because they kind of just show them like inside there later but it was really cool how they were kind of fused yeah and they're they're up against like the flesh and bone flowers only on the inside what was the point of that i think it's just showing how uh he he had no intent to destroy the stuff that was inside there so it Mm -hmm. all got saved i guess oh so this is the only time that aaron actually like questions what happened to his dad before we see that he ate him yeah which That's is funny yeah like he he just i mean I, he doesn't really have time to oh to yeah think where about. he says that there but i feel like he'd have some kind of like lingering resentment over feeling he'd been abandoned because his dad literally just yeah. left and never came back yeah what is he yeah he's, he's so confused or it's like a confusing position to be in i also thought it was interesting how they thought about like escaping here mm-hmm. like going over the wall and trying to make it to the basin themselves yeah they he probably could have done it he oh yeah i think he could have well i guess depends if does he have his titan strength back at this point i i guess that is a problem yeah if, it depends if they if like, found somewhere to hide maybe for like yeah. a few hours mm-hmm. yeast, yeast! Probably mr. Like yeast. <laughs> mr yeast mr <laughs> yeast oh god here we have the arm in oh. like five minute dramatic monologue I feel like... Oh, well, let me, hold on. Let me clarify. I really like Armin. Like, mm-hmm. He's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> but this is really silly, I think. It's it's so funny that he's like, oh, wait, I helped my friends a single time. Yeah. I'm, I'm a good person. <laughs> I get the what they're trying to do with this, mm-hmm. but it's like, this is too soon in the series. I actually really like Armin's self-confidence issue, mm-hmm. especially later on. But That's just a silly moment. The way they portray it here is just not not great. Mm-hmm. It's just really overly dramatic. No, I I like it's his like salute a- though. His salute is cool, but this this whole part where he's like, I can't do it. <laughs> like, it's so it's it's very it. shown or it's very like told and not like yeah. shown. They're really stretching to look for examples of Armin helping. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, uh um. Like just, God, not enough really has happened. <laughs> the <laughs> fucking bone falling apart behind him is so goofy. I, and he, then he instantly turns his around. Mind. He's, like, he's yeah. like, wait, I did help them. I did get Hannes that one time. God, this song this, is really good. You no, know, it is really good. Just what you said, like, there's never going to be another anime like this. Even, even with the... The overdramatic parts. No, yeah, it's it's, it's such still a, so unique. It's a complete statement. It really is. 
I actually, I really like this part, actually. I feel like there's a missed opportunity for Kit Swarman to come back in Uprising. Is like a, an example of the incompetent government. Mm-hmm. I, in general, there's a lot of government in Season 1 that they don't reuse. Yeah. Like that, that dude with the glasses that was teaching them. Okay, this is, this is actually sick, though. I can't be mad about that. No, it's a good scene. But Kit Swarman really did not need to be the antagonist for two whole episodes. No, he definitely did not. No, I I love the detail of how Marley dumped all the Titans by the harbor, and then it inadvertently made it so they couldn't send any more troops because they put too many Titans. Oh yeah, they're fucking geniuses. He's so real for that. I remember that one being a little worse. Yeah, I I, I was gonna say it's fine. It's, it's not as bad as I remembered. I'm still not putting it above. Like, what do you think? C or D? C or D. Um. It's not as good as three. It's the worst we've seen so far. Yeah. I I, I would I say D is not bad episodes. D is not bad? It's like really mid episodes. Because that's not a bad episode of anime. Yeah, I think it is D. It, mm -hmm. It's below It's below three. It's below. It's way below. Yeah, it is way ones. below all those. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's not bad. But yeah, for the sake of this tier list, because I don't. F, F would be actually bad. And mm -hmm. I don't think AFT has any. Like oh, yeah, maybe one, which, which one? we'll get to later. Uh, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For for our sake, D won't be bad. It'll just be like mm -hmm. lower tier AOT episodes. Yeah, so I think that fits there. Yeah, and I that does fit the the. Is yeah. eleven also one that's kind of boring? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. eleven will be another D. <laughs> and the ending sequence is cool though. It has that. Like, does he legendary... not transform until the end of eleven? Yeah, that is absurd that that's paced like yeah. that. It's Lobov. Lobov! Oh my god, I love him so much. It's like the Zeke Yeager clearing his throat moment. It is. Oh, it's shot very similarly no, there, I was, too. I was just thinking that. This fell Oh, this is always weird to me. So they they frame this as a human experiment? This really confused me when I first yeah, watched it. Yeah, I've always... You. Okay, it did confuse you then, because I've always wondered, like... Because mm -hmm. they don't clarify that Pixis was lying here. Yeah. Um, and I always wondered if that confused people. It confused me on my first watch. I came to you and you were like, oh, he's just lying. Oh, right. You did. Mm -hmm. I was like, when did, I was like when, when did they establish this? Ymir's reaction here is interesting because mm -hmm. she understands the significance of that. And I guess this is the first time she's finding out. That it's Aaron. Or just that there's a another one of the Nine Titans here. People make fun of Armin for, like, coming up with the idea of carrying a boulder. Mm -hmm. But it is a really big boulder. It is pretty big. I mean, yeah. I can't argue with you there. It is a very big boulder. <gasps> is that? That is Lobov. Wow. It's one of his few lines. I feel like the Lobov-Daz duality is something that is kind of underrated in this series. Oh, yeah. Pixis' ten lines in his speech are so good, it made every single person yeah, turn yeah. back. <laughs> What did he even say that was that convincing? This isn't really a very rousing speech. I do like this. It's like hypothetical, and they show the wall priest there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it showed some high-ranking merchants. Are you looking up high-ranking merchant? I was going to say, um, was that his debut? No. No. High-ranking merchant. He gets ship machined, right? Oh, wait. Is that the single guy? Yeah, high-ranking merchant. No, it's not high-ranking merchant. It was a uh, chubby royal government minister. Chubby royal government minister is a separate character from high-ranking merchant. Yeah, I know, but chubby royal government minister is the one that gets put in the ship machine. <gasps> there he uh, is. Oh, yeah, if it wasn't obvious, th this is filler. <laughs> was Mitabi Jarnak not a character? He just... Well, he's, he's from the he manga, but he's not like... He's, yeah. He was too wise for this world. He really was. <laughs> if he stayed in the story, he would have known too much. <laughs> he would have he would have probably inherited Aaron's Titan by unanimous vote. He he does have the uh the Abe Lincoln beard, so you can tell he's very honest as well. Yeah. Yeah, can you tell this is filler? The big three, the big three AOT characters, as many people say. The fuck does that mean? Is he being such a dick? Yeah, Matobi Yarnak is uh, hard to love, but he's even harder to hate. 
They really stretch out yeah. this season, dude. No, this is like the Rico Brzezinska episode. Do you think what? there's any moment, like even for a second, that Annie and Renner were told were like, hmm? They, they they made Aaron this way? There's a 10th Titan? This island's like a weird mystery to them yeah. still. So probably not, but maybe for a second they're like, what? What, they believe Pixis? Like for a second, maybe. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Oh, yeah. What, oh, my God. Why did they put so much work into <laughs> that? Uh, okay. That's like the worst episode. It is very rough. It has a randomly god tier scene at the end. That's not enough reason. to bring it up. It's not. That sequence is like A tier, but that episode is it's, probably D. Yeah. It's just boring. Yeah. I don't hate it, though. I don't hate it. it I, I wasn't bored, but just because we made our own fun during it. Uh, I like Pixis' speech, even though it's not really that motivating. <laughs> it's really not at all. I don't know why he, he was able to rouse people by saying, uh, yes, we killed off literally all of your loved ones on purpose. Surprise. But... <laughs> You're going to die now, so, so, like, like he didn't, he yeah. didn't contribute anything. I, I do like how no, I gotta love him though. Uh, it kind of shows how they're like staging this operation. It just did not need to be an entire episode. Uh, it could have probably been like five minutes. Yeah, no, definitely. If it was a season two or three, especially if it was a season three episode, that would have been like literally a five minute sequence. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. It's... Trust is in general the hardest thing about watching the show with people again because y- yeah. y- you don't really gain something new from watching it. With the later parts, you really do gain something new each time you watch. Oh yeah, and uh, with I I just don't. There's just, feel I mean with trust very often. Yeah, and I, I don't really... think that's really like a bad thing because it's clearly like a setup arc. I think it's mainly the anime's just... fault for dragging it. Yeah, so that's much. that's the thing. Is it it, it is just it it's. It's unwieldy and, and long. I feel like if it had been an 11 episode arc, it would have been literally perfect. Mm-hmm. But yeah. And that's including the three and four in the places that they are? Yeah. 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 If they had just finished the first core at 11, cut down on 10 and 11, combine 10 and 11 into one episode, mm-hmm. and then the whole training arc, but that's a different issue. Okay. So yeah, D tier. D tier for 11. That. Oh, there's her scar. It's kind of funny her scar never heals from this, considering all the other things they go through. Yeah, yeah, that one. Mitavi Yarnak looked really funny there. He had the like, googly eyes. Oh, Mitavi. I, just, I can't bring myself to hate him. What was Mikasa planning to do there? Cut out Aaron, probably? No, she was charging M- Mitavi Yarnak. Look, she's <laughs> pissed at him. He looks so inquisitive. The sequence is actually really cool. I love how they have it melded with his face here. Mm-hmm. In season four, when Aaron and Zeke are revisiting it, it has the same lighting as this dream sequence. Does it? Oh, that's really cool. It's like identical. Is there is is this just like a dream that he's having? It's not like there's no, a no. It's greater... completely a dream. There's there's mm-hmm. nothing more to it. Mm-hmm. They use CGI really well in this season because you really don't notice the CGI Titans, even though mm-hmm. they're really bad when you focus on them. Oh, uh, yeah, they do add John Filler here. I think it's, like, on the better end of Filler they added, though. <laughs> I really love always, like, that bearded one there. <laughs> He's, like, vertically stretched out. Armin does connect here that Aaron emerges from the Titan's nape, and it's, like, the first time someone's put that together. No one, no one put that together by looking at it? No, I'm I'm saying this is the first time we have, like, a hint of why that's the Titan's weak spot. Oh, yes, no, yeah, you're right. because the human spinal cord is still infused there in normal yeah. Titans. that's smart. Is that the lanky beard one? I don't think no, so. No, it's different. I doubt they'd keep it that consistent. <laughs> I mean, they they have a, they had an internal Titan consistency, the early part of Trust. Yeah, but not, like, the random background ones. They don't usually show back up. Nope, there he is. Wait, are you serious? That is the one, yeah. Okay, while I stand corrected, <laughs> I need to have more faith in them, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, he's fucking caked up. Uh, the John Filler here is fine. It's not bad, no. I wouldn't have guessed it was even filler. Okay. It's like a C- uh, It's tier. definitely, yeah, definitely better than the last ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has good scenes of, like, them fighting the Titans. It's still really slow. I'll call it C. I, I agree. It's probably a C. I their dream sequence is pretty good. It's cool. I remembered it being longer than it was. Yeah. No, me too. Actually, mm-hmm. it's really it's short. really just like a minute. 
or two there. Even though it it doesn't come back really, but I mm-hmm. like the whole sequence with the uh, the book, how yeah. that like snaps him out of it. It's a shame that that never gets followed up on. They <laughs> never talk about Aaron's book again in the series. A lot of good Ian Dietrich content this episode. <laughs> Ian Dietrich. A yeah, lot, a no. decent amount of Matovi's yarn ash, but I'd like to see more. Yeah, if there was more, this would be an easy B tier. I, I also had that that funny looking Titan with the beard. This one actually does have something cool about it. The recap has new animation. See? Oh, that's and it's good too. Yeah, it is good. There's some cool key frames in there. How are more still coming? There's so many. Because there's a million out there. This sequence in the original broadcast, they literally did not have time to finish animating this. Yeah. So is it just what like they a... do? I'll I'll compare it on screen. Is it like a slideshow? No, it it just shows one still shot of Annie's face instead of like animating it. He's lucky that wasn't a fast titan. Yeah. No no fast titans in filler. So this isn't in the, the original where Annie like jumps on him mm-hmm. and it causes him to go down so John doesn't get eaten. They just did not show that. And that's cool. Yeah, that this sequence good. is awesome though. Yeah. I don't remember this being that good. And I love, I don't know if this is what they were going for, but his body's like steaming. I like the implication that it's literally he's... crushing him as he's carrying it. He's oh, regenerating. yeah. He has to keep rehealing. This is the first time he's been in control of his Titan, too. Mm-hmm. It's about to happen. No. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. He he didn't even <laughs> he get He gets eaten. pulverized. He just got... Holy what shit. What got him? I, like I, Oh, what it was, was it that, that one's hand? It, yeah, it must have been a hand. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That is sad. Poor were, Ian. Oh, he got it terrible. I wish that um, Ian wouldn't have thrown that guy out and would have stuck around. He's like the one competent. Oh, Marco just died. Yeah, they they recreate that shot in season three when they show his death. He was he was looking back at uh, Reiner. Oh, really? Yeah. They really do not show Reiner or Bertol at all during this. Yeah, because they're killing Marco right now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> that those titans are just like sitting outside. <laughs> they don't know what to do oh, now. We were so close, man. It's like in Smiling Friends when he's like, "Oh, we were right there, man." Oh, we were right there, man. Ooh, so, that's a really cool yeah. Levi intro. Was a part of him outside the wall like filler? Uh, no, that was in the manga. Okay, that's chapter like nine point five, I think. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I guess this is his first appearance in a full chapter, though. Yeah. I can't believe the wall-mounted artillery actually took out any titans. Yeah, the first time ever. Yeah, so in the manga, the training arc goes in between that last scene oh. and this one where they're collecting the dead bodies. It transitions from uh, John and Marco's, like, their meeting, and then immediately goes into him finding his dead body. Oh, man, Erwin's season one design is rough. It is. <laughs> it looks like a Ken doll. I do like the implication that the military police are, like, immediately trying to mm-hmm. get their hands on him. So the implication, I, don't know. I think, is just what's happening. Well, no, I don't know if you see how I'd, like, conceptualized Rod Race and, like, everything with the, the uprising arc. Yeah. Uh, but clearly, but, you know, they want to take him and take the take his Titan. They would like to do that, like, right now. So that episode was way better than I remembered, especially yeah. the second half. I, I remembered is... it being more, like randomly uh I, the next arc. I always have like that one. I'd yeah. I'd say that's a solid B. I think it's higher. Would you? I think it's an A. Um I mean I wouldn't like fight. You get RTS think... set up, you get basement really Yeah. Yeah, I I can see the case for A. I'm yeah. not against that. Yeah, I I think it's just such a strong ending. Um It is really strong. It it's it sets up very well. I was going to say I think even even though it does really like obviously pull ahead to a different arc, it it, yeah. it feels right. It fits well. Yeah, mainly it wouldn't be A if the uh, boulder sequence wasn't so amazing. Yeah. They, they really made that feel just so, like, epic. Feels like it's, like, a world-changing event, pretty much. But 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 also, all the cleanup stuff is really cool, too. Just the yeah, post-dark stuff. Even, even hey, from that, I'd call it... Yeah, it's a really strong episode. I it is. definitely think it's better than uh, I Can Hear His Heartbeat. <laughs> um, yeah, put it in A. Yeah. All right. 